Hello everybody, welcome back to Civilization 6. Last episode, I made the decision that we need to attack Arabia before it's too late. And we're basically ready, but the problem is our alliance... Are we still in line? Yeah, our alliance uh, power, Gilgamesh, is kind of in a bit of a pickle in his own situation. He's got Rome attacking him. I wouldn't mind if they could stop doing that. Rome has also denounced us, so this is scary, scary time in general. But I'm hoping that ends sometime soon so we can get Gilgamesh to help us out. But they do have their own problems. They are definitely overwhelmed by Rome. I mean, they're, they're looking really good right now, which is annoying. Ooh, a Renaissance we era. We cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Nice. Got a new government change. Uh, inherent bonus, plus two trade routes. Legacy bonus discount on gold purchases. Gain five influence points per turn. Damn. We might need to go for that one. I think it might be a bit better than us. Discount on gold purchases. Because we do buy a lot of stuff with gold. We make a lot of money, so we end up spending it on units and little bips and bobs like that. But it does change our arrangement, but that gives us an extra wild card. So theoretically, we could still have the same level of each thing. So I don't think that's a problem. We'll go for that. Nice. So now we have an extra economic policy available. And a new one has come through. 15% faster growth for cities not on your original capital's content. Yeah, not going to be helpful right now, unfortunately. But I wouldn't mind the culture and science from international trade routes, because I think we have some of those. Oh, it's tough. Oh, we might go for the harbor now, though, because we do actually have a harbor coming in. And we have a wild card free, which I wouldn't mind using. So we get press gangs here, which should get us some extra naval units. That would be pretty good. But also, bastions are still a classic. City defense strength and city drain strength up. So we'll go for that, actually. We still have three military policies. It just shifted around a little bit. And we actually get an extra economic policy. The so next up we got guilds, which I think is the only one we can go for anyway. Get some industrial zone adjacency bonuses, commercial hub bonuses, extra great merchant, and culture to all rainforest tiles. Nice. We have a lot of those over in Shudet, at least for now. So we'll go for guilds. I think it's the only one we can do anyway. These guys, we're ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> Japan being bipolar again, commending my practices. Let's wait for the next turn where he denounces them. And let's just fortify these all to, you know, signify that we're ready to attack. We just gotta wait on Gilgamesh to be free. What about Germany? Are Germany at war with anybody? They are not. I feel like Germany could help us a bit. Unable to surprise war. Some member of your team, friend or ally, a member of this player's team. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's declare war on Germany. That's not what I want. What I did want to do is make a deal and see if it's possible to do a joint war on Saladin. Oh, he's straight up just happy to do that. No questions asked. Okay. So I wouldn't mind doing that. As soon as we have enough to get a city-state to help us, maybe. Oh, Kumasai, what happened? Oh, no, Roosevelt. Okay, well, that sucks. They have a pretty sweet army. We've even lost Zanzibar. Carthage are our only remaining friends. We need 760 gold. I think that's a bit of a waste. How are Germany going to help us, though? Like, yeah, they've only got so much that they can help us with. How is their military strength coming along, though? Let's have a look at that. It's actually worse than ours by quite a bit. So ours is 380, theirs is 245, and Saladin is 373. Ooh, see, I'd love to get more help from these guys. We're going to wait a little bit. I feel like that's a good idea. Can we move this battering ram to there, swap them out a little bit? Oh, well, they're able to sit on the same tile. Nice. Shadet's free. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Armory. Plus 25 combat experience, all land units trade in the city. Does that 
work retroactively. I wouldn't mind getting that anyway. Just as an extra help. Battering ram. We'll just sleep you for now. Uh oh, Samara has been targeted for a declaration of war by Hattusa. Wait, who is Hattusa? The delegate learned that Germany is expanding to add the new settlement Berlin. Nice! Hey, you got Berlin. I really hope Germany could help me. In fact, why don't we just ask Germany to help us now? I don't think getting a city state on our side is really going to help too much. It would help, but we don't have the money for it right now. Ah, oh, see, I don't know if we should start yet, though, because we do have a bunch of trade routes to Arabia. This is a tough, this is a tough call. Like, when do I strike? Probably not yet, but this episode, for sure, we're going to do this. Japan has announced the evil deeds of Germany. Nothing new there. Japan's announcing everybody every day. Ooh, Roosevelt has declared war on Pedro. So there's a bit of a war going on on this side of the world. America. They ain't... They ain't a big fan of Brazil. Ugh. I'll be blind to not see your army in front of me. Please move them from the borders unless you anticipate war. My troops are merely passing by. Yeah, we'll lie to these f fricks. I don't want to declare war right now anyway. We want to surprise them. I think that's a nice thing. We've just let them think that they're safe. Once these trade routes are done... I think that's when we should strike, so then we don't have to worry about losing traders. Something tells me they wouldn't be concerned about that, but... You know, just in case. Just in case. I don't want to lose them. Trading is not going to be a thing that we worry about too much. Arabia's trading with Germany! What? <laughs> that's fine. It's whatevs. Damn, they've already taken everything they can, aren't they? We gotta get Arabia Audi. Ooh. Majority of cities in Samaria are now following Buddhism. Okay. Does that mean they wouldn't want to fight? I don't know. Probably not. You know what? I'm going to quickly save. So that we can, you know, just in case things go badly. Restart day. Man is a military animal. Glories in gunpowder and loves parades. Nice. So we have our musket men now. I don't know. Are we able to upgrade? Oh, yes. 230 gold each. We can upgrade. We just need one nighter to upgrade this type of unit. Okay. Uh, are we going to be able to produce a builder in time? Oh, man. Every time I'm like, let's do it. Something gets in the way. Crossbow man. Lumber mill. I honestly wouldn't mind just pushing for the error and go for metal casting. It does get us a bunch of science, I believe. Why not? Trade route time. Let's not go to Arabia because I don't plan on them being free for long. How about a bit of Zanzibar action or Bandar Brunei? You do get bonus yield. Go for Bandar Brunei. That's a long time to complete, but that's fine. The other trade route is getting close to being done as well, which is cool. We've been denounced by Rome. I feel like we already were. Control very little territory. Yeah, we want to change that, I think. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to train up a builder real quick. We'll get this resource. And then probably stop switching these swordsmen to be musket men. So I think we need the resource for that. Yeah, I don't know about Gilgal Mesh. I feel like they're in a bit of a pickle right now to help us out. They're getting wrecked. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind asking them. We might see if we can ask them anyway, but yeah. I'm counting on Germany right now, even though I think they're at their own situation. No, they're not in any wars yet, so they might be able to side with us, which is great. That's what I wanted. America has denounced the evil deeds of America. Man, why? What's going on? Everyone denouncing, man. Arabia's denouncing Germany. <laughs> they literally were trading a few turns ago. Now they're denounced. Well, hey, perfect reason to start a little bit of a surprise war, eh, for being denounced. Builder, two turns. That's really fast. Get that done in a jiffy. Mary has denounced the evil deeds of Japan. Oh, okay, okay. All this denouncing going on. Where's the action? Coming at you live. Very soon, from us at least. As soon as we can finish this and upgrade our units. By the time this is done, we'll have earned a bunch of money in the meanwhile to upgrade our swordsmen. Maybe even produce another one. Rome. Oh my gosh. Rome is in the information era? Oh, wow. <laughs> Saladin apparently wants a joint war against America. 
They want a captive? I don't know what that is, sorry. You're, you're going down yourself, mate. I don't know about, I don't know why you want that from me. Man, Rome are in the... How are they in the information era? That's crazy. They're like so advanced. I'm terrified by that. All right, the builders are done. We'll move the builders over here. Get that resource. And what does Shidat want to do? Maybe we'll... Oh, can we build... What should debt want to do? Musket man. Oh, we can't actually build them until we have the, the resource. Well then, maybe we can make a swordsman? No, we can't even make swordsmen anymore. Well, we'll go for a knight then, because knights are pretty powerful. At this point though, we already can get Zanzibar to help us out with the war. Wait, Zanzibar are our friends still? No. But we can already get Carthage to help us out, right? Oh, it's a tie. We might need to send an envoy. I don't know if I could do that right now. Now we don't have enough. We almost do. Wouldn't mind getting Carthage to help us out, actually. Getting them to levy our military. Or getting them to levy their military at the same time would actually be a pretty good idea. Ooh, delegation from Gilgamesh, sure. I feel like you're kind of busy, but feel free. Are they free now? No, they're very much still at war with the Roman Empire. Okay. Builders are here. Uh, let's remove that improvement. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen that. That's adorable. And build that mine. Nice. Now we've got knowledge of rifling boosted, which I don't know how where that helps us. Oh, that's a while away. <laughs> well, at least it's boosted for when we eventually get there. Nice, we've got that Niter mine. Now we should be able to upgrade these guys and ask Samaria. Oh, sorry, Carthage to help us out. Just brilliant. So many things we can do at once. I wonder if Germany is still willing to help us, though. Because they didn't ask for anything extra at the time. Okay, night's done. Now we can upgrade this to the musket man. Nice. I believe that's our first musket man ever. It's official, guys. We now have musket men. And I wouldn't mind getting these mines upgraded. I've been waiting on that for a long time. I'll move them over there. And production wise, let's get some more army. Military engineer. Requires an armory to produce, can construct roads, forts, airstrips, and mission missile silo improvements. Okay. Well, does it help the units, though? I feel like we should get one anyway. Why not? It sounds pretty nice. All right, trade route. Oh, we can trade with Rio de Janeiro. We get some money and a bit of faith. What do these guys want, though? They want a trade route. We don't get as much, but they'll be happy. Why not? Über Vorsichtigkeit sie gelobt zu helfen diesem Riech hieße tanzen mit dem Tode. Why? Come on, man, I thought we were friends. Yeah, we are still friends. Can we try for the joint war on Taladin? They are still down. All right, it's happening, guys. Joint war, surprise war on the Arabian Empire with Germany. Declare war! It's a long time coming, I know, guys, but it's finally happening. Arabia is about to get destroyed. Nice! And we can send an envoy to Carthage. We can send two envoys. How many do we even need? Don't want to overdo it. We only need the one. What about um, Zanzibar? Are we close to be able to fix that? No, we would even it out. Kumasai? Nah, even further. Alright, well, Carthage will give you one. And why don't we give the other to Zanzibar, just in case something good happens. There we go, Carthage, you're on our side. Now, can we levy the military? Oh, it's even more now! 1,060? Okay. Well, we'll wait then. That will hopefully be able to come handy in the future. Alright, time to attack Arabia. Now, I don't know where to begin. Probably Medina. 
Oh, I don't know. Aleppo is right here. Let's go for Aleppo. Attack. Oh, they got musket men in there. Ich verstore meine Feinde und ob ihnen helft auch ich. Come on, Germany. What are you talking about? We were literally at a war together. You, you confused me, fam. Oh, man, we're not really in a good spot for this. I should have thought about this beforehand. But either way, these guys should be able to go in and do a little bit of damage. This would be nice to get in there. Get a knight in there. Are you able to... Yeah, you could do that in one turn. Go for it. So the musket man, yeah, ooh, a little bit of a problem. But I think we'll be able to whittle them down, right? Right? What's happening? Why are they so strong? Ranged attack, do I have to be closer for that? Uh, wake up. Okay, there we go. Now I don't understand what's going on. Musket man, can these guys come in? Oh, I've blocked myself. What about the archers? I mean, they're weak AF. Uh, okay, we're in a bad spot. Let's try and get in a better one. Move the catapult in. And these all have musket men in the cities, which is rough. My unit needs orders. Can I range attack? Apparently I have to be there. But I can't because the knights are in the way. Oh no! This is not very good right now. Move the knights in. Is that going to do some damage? Oh, we actually came through and did something, I guess. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. We did a very small amount of damage. They've just got a garrison going on. I think that's the problem. Well, I can't really do anything with these guys. Move them over there, I guess. Yeah, the units we have are definitely going to have to be trained up ASAP. Maybe we should upgrade these Pike Man. Uh, next turn, I guess. Oh, jeez, I'm scared. Arabia has been targeted for a declaration of war by Germany. Nice, Germany. I need you guys. You want an alliance as well? An open borders. I guess we open borders wouldn't be the worst thing ever. We are good friends. I don't think they're going to screw with us. They do want to give us some money. What if I ask for a bit more money? Can I accept right. it? Two is fine, though. All right, we'll take that. Nice. We've got an alliance. Nice. Germany, come on. Chop, chop. We need your help. Oh, the musket men are leaving the city, though. They are going to take out, I think, our... Yeah, some of our units. But they have left the city, which is good. They've got less city strength now. Surely we'll be able to take Aleppo with how many units we have, though. I feel like we've got to be able to just whittle it down. We've got so much. We're so ready for this war. At least on this one city. This man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. So that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. All right, guilds are free. What does that help us with? What do we get from that? 100% commercial hub district adjacency bonuses. And I think that's it. That's all we get, maybe. Oh, and we get industrial zone too. Yeah, I don't know about that. I wouldn't mind looking at our military situation, though, making sure we're ready for what we're doing right now. Production is down, which is nice. Wait, 100% production? Oh, that's naval. Yeah, we need. We don't need the naval. Yields gained from pillaging are double for pillaging improvements. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, I guess, actually, no, I do get that. So if we're pillaging an improvement, we get more. If we're pillaging a district, we get more. Oh, no, did I undo that? Oh, I meant to change something. Well, whoops. Let's have a look what we got here. Diplomatic service. All production towards spies. Resident embassy. Declare holy war. Declare lib liberation war. And declare reconquest war. Diplomatic service. Nice, that's pretty good. We get some more great artists and great engineer points. An art museum, which gets some, some culture. Okay. And reformed church. We get a new type of government. So combat strength. And some religious stuff. What, which one is the best for us to get further? They're all on the same page, so not really... 
any of them. Definitely not the church one, though, because that's kind of a dead end. I might go for the diplomatic service. I feel like that might be better. All right, time to attack again. There's a trader free. But we'll worry about that in a moment. Oh, that's a major defeat. These guys, yes, these guys can range attack. Apparently that's a minor victory. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's try it. It didn't do nothing! Oh my lord. Four damage. Yeah, that's basically nothing. I think we should just attack the city. I mean, we're already here. Battering ram. How about we move that in? What does the battering ram even do? An adjacent to an enemy city, melee units do full damage to the city's walls. Okay, that's good. These guys are melee, aren't they? Let's move these guys in. Why not? Who knows? They are under siege, after all. Hopefully that's good. We just gotta pummel them. We lost one unit. But I guess it's inevitable. Pillage. Yields 120 on faith. Yes. Pillaging. Your city's going down, son. Very slowly and kind of pathetically. But it's going down. These guys moved at all? We need these guys to come up on the city. Oh man, I don't know. This might be a close call. We're going to lose like a whole army to one city. Just like how Arabia sort of did the same for us. Um, see, that does like nothing. Let's pillage instead. Why not? Since we're there, we'll do the pillaging. We've got so much faith now. Nice. Uh, fortified to herd. Yeah, that's not going to do anything, honestly. All right, we're just going to go for the musket man, get a bit of damage out of them. If we're still alive by then. And the trader... You want some orders? Yeah, I don't think we're going to send you to Arabia. We can't even. I think Zanzibar is fine for us. Because we just need the most money as we can. That would be great. Oh, Aleppo, you're proven to be a little tricky dicky. I think we can get you. You've only got the one musket man. I'm sure we're going to be able to whittle them down eventually, right? How's our harbor coming along? Oh, they want some open borders. Japan. Why don't you give us some gold per turn? Sorry, mate. If you wanna if you wanna bargain with me, you're looking at the wrong person. Oh, they got so many musket men. That's like all they have, but they are really strong. And we are in range of homs, that's not fantastic. Germany, are you coming or what? They've got a bunch of army just hanging about. If so few troops, aren't you scared for your life? Uh no, it's just that they're dying. It's just that they're dying horribly right now. If you knew that, you would realize. you got your missionaries here. Maybe they're feeding you some false info. Something's going down here, all right? Okay, investment banking unlocked. Okie dokie. All right, let's see. Can we attack these guys? We can't from here. Hey, did the musket men just leave? I guess they did. Okay, well, perfect time to pillage. Did we already pillage? I swear we already did. Okay, well, we pillaged again. And I think we can still attack after that, which is cool. Pillaging yields 50 health. Ooh! Nice, we just healed up from pillaging. But then I think that consumes the action. Shoot these guys. Man, we're doing great, though, on Aleppo. I have to admit, pretty impressed with us. Uh, why can't we range attack from here? Oof, let's move these guys in. Might as well have them in. That's like our entire army. Everyone that's left is here. I think these guys are just kind of have to come over. I don't know if there's any other way. Same with these guys. I feel like they're just one tile too far away. Battering ram, I think you're already doing your job right now. Skip the turn. We could take Aleppo. I think we can do it. I might have to buy a couple more units. Oh, I could just hear gunfire from over here. Like, uh, automatic rifles. Oh my gosh. We're so behind. We're just here with like men with hatches like give me all your goods and then they've got like skyscrapers. <sighs> I think we're going to be able to do it though with sheer numbers as I always predicted. 
I think it's possible. We are gonna have to be very, very fast in getting our army back up to strength, though, after this. Because... This ain't a good look right now. We can keep pillaging and get some more science. It says 121. I don't think that's actually true. I'm not seeing 121 in here. Alright, those guys are dead. Oh no, they're not dead. Almost, but not, not yet. Uh, and then these guys go for it. Yeah, slowly but surely, we're going to take them. Ranged attack. Minor city damage. It's better than no city damage. I'm going to move these guys over and move these guys there. Uh, it's going to be a bit of an awkward ring around the rosy situation. Skip the turn. Oh, builders are finally here. Nice. Build that mine, I guess. It's definitely the last of our concerns. Why can't we attack this yet? Do we have to set up for attack? It doesn't seem like it. Maybe they just have to be here. I don't know. Legitimately. So close. Come on. We're going to take this. And Germany, meanwhile, sitting on their asses. Not helping whatsoever. So much for a joint war. Come on. Is this even a thing that's happening? Yeah, apparently they're at war. I mean, you're sure not making it look that way. Uh-oh. Arabia's sending some musket men over. That's actually a horrible news. We are not ready for that. We're going to have to buy some units. I think we need to buy musket men. Uh-oh. These guys want one diamond for 30 turns? I mean, that's... I would get us some coffee. What if I ask for more money? I mean, they really want it. You know, I'm... Oh, I'm fine with that. We're not using it anyway. And they're offering us coffee, which we don't have. Sure. Sure thing. Maybe you'll hate me less. I don't know. We made a deal. We're still denounced. That's fine. I hope at least we can take the city. That would be fantastic. Also, Carthage, are they still on our side? No, they're not anymore. Oh, I was about to see if we could ask them. We're really close monetarily to asking them. We just need to take Aleppo. I, I want to do that before we end this episode. I know I've, I've been playing a bit longer than I usually do per episode. Just because I really want to... I really just want to see Aleppo taken. I think... Oh, this is so close. This is so damn close. I think it's possible. These guys can range attack. No, they can't. Just go for it, guys. All out war. This is all out war. Just take it. Let's go for it. These guys have got to shuffle over. And the catapult is just not working. I, d I don't know. Maybe we have to be in the city. Maybe this is the spot we got to be in. Battering ram. We can skip the turn. Builders are done with the diamonds. Let's improve. Let's make that a sphinx. Why not? And these guys. Yeah, I want them to move there, but I can't move them until... Until the other guys have moved to so fortify. We're so close. One more turn. As long as we don't get wiped out in this turn, we, we'll have Aleppo. Yes! Germany's built a workshop in Trier. Good for you guys. I'm so proud, but can you help me though? That's kind of something you said you would do. You could have just said no if you didn't want to do it. Now they're garrisoned. That's awkward for us, because we're going to have to deal with all of these musket men now. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, we're going to have to buy, uh, buy a musket man real soon. Why are you denouncing me, man? We just traded. Is that not enough to be friendly? They're apparently a warmonger. Yeah, and Arabia isn't. Come on. Did you guys not read the history books of what happened? Musket man. I think we can afford one. It's gonna have to happen. Is our musket man dead? I think it is. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, these guys... Could do minor damage. Not really that impressive. 
Ranged attack. Barely does anything. Major defeat. Oh. Let's just do some city damage, because I'm going to buy a musket man of my own. It's a lot of money, but it has to happen. Where are they? Oh, they're here already. District range strike. Ooh. Didn't know we could do that. Yeet. Go for it. I don't think we can use the musket man this turn, unfortunately. These guys want to produce something. I wouldn't mind you maybe producing... Oh, we can't really produce units very fast. How about something simple then? Like a medieval wall. Oh, that takes a long time though. How about a library? Why not? Get some science in since you're chilling. You're good over there. I don't know how good we are though. We've got musket man line. Just ready to take us down. I just want to take Aleppo, guys. Germany, where are you? Are you even bothering to come over? Oh, jeez. There go the catapult. Damn. These guys haven't even moved yet. I don't think. Are they gonna move? R apparently, Brazil is in the atomic era. Very nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, where are we? We're still in the Renaissance era. That's kind of sad to see. Uh, Alright, so we can still bombard these guys, which I'm definitely going to do. They're kind of just super OP, but these guys got to move in. Not happy with them just sitting on their asses. That's a really nice amount of damage. So we're going to take that. These guys can sacrifice and go for the city. Pike man, have you done something yet? No, but... Why not sacrifice yourself? It's not that useful anyway. Get a bit of damage in. As long as these guys are in range of this uh, encampment, that's pretty good for me. I'm getting free chip damage. What are these pikemen doing? Oh. You think I'm a warmonger? Nah, mate. Um, let's be friends. Yes. I thought we already were. Oh, they're coming in. They're about to get screwed. Nice. You chose the wrong city to come walking up in. Even though they're absolutely destroying us. But just ignore that. Just remember the name. Shadet. It's got a lion. What the heck? How did this happen? Where did these barbarians come from? What? Oh no. Oh no. This has gone poorly. Memphis is free though. Hooray. <laughs> oh no. I guess we'll build a lighthouse. I don't know. What is this? What is going on? Well, now that these guys are here, let's kill them. Barbarian musket men? You're kidding me. Actually joking me with this. It's so strong. What? Oh, man. Well, something tells me we're not taking Aleppo this episode. We're going to have to leave that for the next time. Which for you guys is just in a day or two anyway, so... Not too much of a wait, but my gosh. This is a bad place for me to leave this episode. It really is. Uh, definitely could have gone a lot better. You know what? We'll destroy them for now, because they're causing problems. Before we end the episode. Promotion available. Ooh, it's not going to happen though, is it? It's not going to happen. And these guys finish this up by doing a pathetic amount of damage on the musket man. Uh, this is scary. This might spell the end of us. Especially if Germany doesn't bother to help us. Which it really seems like they couldn't give less of a shit about us. But, thank you for watching though anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and check out my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description. And until the next episode guys, I will see you around. Goodbye.